Uh, this is Lane Thomas with the Washington Nationals. You're listening to Jim on Base. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. We're here at PNC Park with Lane Thomas of the Nationals, and it's good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. And I know you're from uh, Tennessee area, right? So it seems like a lot of baseball players actually live there in the off season. So do you have a good like uh, hangout group in the off season with guys? Or yeah, uh, we have a lot of guys from you know that play at the University of Tennessee that are in the minor leagues or you know big leagues. So it's been it's been it's been really good. The the head coach there gives us. Uh, pretty good access to the facility and it's it's been really good to have that and good group of guys so it makes it fun to kind of get your work in together awesome and i forgot to start off the interview with the congratulations uh, you have a baby on the way right yeah yeah yeah. i'm excited yeah it's supposed to be november 8th but you know who knows what the day will actually be but yeah i'm really excited well you planned it right then it's an off-season baby 100 percent. yes i've heard i've heard that's the time to do it yeah well i was curious uh, growing up in tennessee who were your teams then who are your favorite guys growing up um, I was always a, I was always, always a big uh, Todd Helton fan. He played at Tennessee, and my mom was originally from Denver, so you know, kind of followed his career. And when we would go visit, I got to see him play quite a bit. Um, obviously, a huge University of Tennessee fan. Love the football, and you know, I'm so close to the stadium, so it's been it's been fun. But yeah, those, those two teams. I wasn't a huge NFL fan, but now you know, I kind of root for the Titans. They've been pretty good the last you know couple of years. I don't know if they're supposed to be good this year or not, but yeah. Have you ever gotten to meet Todd Helton yet, or? Yeah, I met him when I was a kid, and then you know, run into him occasionally at the at the at the facility. Yeah. Well, it must have been pretty surreal for you being a baseball fan, right, and getting to play with like Paul Goldschmidt, Yadier Molina. Was that kind of surreal for you being on the Cardinals, or? Yeah, I mean, especially Yadi. He's you know, I feel like he's played for so long, or played for so long now. He, you know, I was like, I was like my catcher in MLB The Show yeah. when I was a kid. You know, that's who I was like trading for and stuff. So, but yeah, well, you know, in Arnado and Goldie and just Wainwright, even it's. Yeah. Got to play a lot of golf with those guys and hang out, so it's pretty surreal. Well, you were traded early on, right, for John Lester, so was that kind of surreal too? Maybe a guy that you just grew up knowing who they were as a fan, now you're getting traded for him? Yeah, 100%. His whole story and, you know, I think he's from Georgia, so a lot, a lot of, you know, Wainwright knew him pretty well, and, I mean, even these guys talking him up just from being here for, you know, the first half of that season. So I've, I've heard good things about him. Obviously, he's been, you know, a heck of a career and battled through some things, so it, it was a pretty cool one. Well, I know you're still younger in your career, but your first at bat, you hit a home run, right? So do you keep that? Do you have any mementos or future man cave items? Yeah, um, I, I sent the ball, or the, the my first hit, and then, I don't know, another ball that I, you know, collected. And, yeah, Fanatics kind of made me a little display oh, cool. for it. So it's it's really cool. Well, who are you when you're, I know you're about to be a dad, right? But I heard something about maybe deer hunting. Uh, are you into hunting in the off season or? I don't hunt a whole lot, but I, I fish quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, I kind of I kind of lay low. I enjoy going into the field and hanging out with the guys and, you know, getting the workouts or, you know, early on just doing the minimal stretching and just, just kind of preparing yourself. It's, you know, you can only spend so much time at the field, so I try to take it pretty serious. But, um, yeah, hang out with my wife, you know, go to a lot of football games in the off season when we can, at least when Tennessee's home. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's kind of kind of a easy off season. I, I travel maybe once, go on a family vacation, but I feel like that'll be pretty tough with a baby this year. So probably just lay low. Well, how did you meet your wife then? Um, we we went to high school together. Oh, awesome. Yeah, got these bugs, man. Yeah. You got one in your neck right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, we got we got the uh, yeah. authentic Pittsburgh experience, I guess, right? Yeah, send those things off, man. Yeah. We'll send it to some other city, yeah. not San Francisco and not uh, Washington. Exactly. Well, awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for coming on the show, and uh, we'll be seeing you around. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me.